Baby turtles, they're doing great. So many things I'm gonna do to this, so make sure you stay tuned. One, let there be light. What's up, Billings fam? Welcome back. Beautiful day out. Don't mind the attire. I've been out with the chickens and ducks all day. I'm sorry, I know I look a mess. But what we wanna do today is we are going to be building our little Tiger Oscar stock tank pond. Super excited. I went out, we just picked up a bunch of stuff. Let me show you real quick. We were able to pick up a really good deal on this Fluval, fil Fluval filter, which as you know, we love. And basically they have a bunch of stuff in here. All we're gonna do is probably dump most of it out, customize it like we always do. So we're gonna take this out. Um, the nice woman said she had cleaned it out really well, but obviously we're gonna clean it. Uh, and then the, the main part of this, because the stock tanks are hard to see in there, as you saw with what we did with the catfish, we put the white rocks underneath. I recommend doing it. I love the look of it. This time we went with smaller rocks because Tiger Oscars love to move stuff around. It kind of keeps them active. So what we're gonna do is use these smaller ones so that if they feel like it, they can move them around, pick them up and do all that. So this whole bag, I think was like four bucks. Um, super, super dusty, guys. Gray, you want some milk? Kidding, isn't that gross though? Yeah. That's from the rocks. Look at how big they are. These guys are huge now. All right, guys, so I got the one bag in there and I actually think that's gonna be enough. I'm not even gonna bother wasting any more space in here with another bag. Uh, and again, super easy to do. We got the bag at Home Depot, it was like four bucks. If you guys follow along at home and wanna do stuff like this, again, we do what we can and we show you that it's easy and affordable to do because as you can see, we have everything else going on and we always improve as we go along. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe because everything we do, we always upgrade as time goes, but I wanna show you the easiest and simplest way to do this. And again, really important reason why we're doing this. Let me take you over to a little clip real quick. If you didn't see last video, our Tiger Oscars that Suede here gave birth to, I know there's a reflection, it's hard to see, but Suede is in there doing wonderfully. She gave birth to these two and they're getting too big and they are eating all my auto cats. Take a look at that, crazy. So we need to give them a nice new place. We're gonna give them an awesome stock tank pond. Love it. This whole build is gonna be centered around what Tiger Oscar's like. That's why we did the smaller pebbles. We're gonna do PVC piping and we're gonna make a really nice cool DIY cave. So what we're gonna do now is before we can get them out of here, gonna run outside, clean out the filter, put all of our new media in there get it together and let's get some water in here. If any of you have Tiger Oscars out there, let me know. I wanna see some pictures. I wanna know what kinds you have. Let me know below. Throw them right in there. Woo woo. Oh wait, and the goldfish. Here, a few more. Look how big they're getting. I love them. Look at that butterfly back there. She is awesome. So we are just gonna quickly clean out, as you can see, I don't think anyone has ever removed this, but we're gonna get rid of all the old media that's in there and put our own new media in. I've done this before, but if you really wanna see an in-depth one, let me know and I will make a video on that. That's pretty much what we're gonna do and Missy is barking at somebody. So we have here our granite cobblestone. Again, we get them at Home Depot. They're like $2 each. They work great. We've used them in the past on the turtle stations for their docking area and on uh, some of the tanks that we've done as well. We just really like not only the look of it, but it seems that even over time, they don't really wear away or become all crudded up with algae and stuff. So I just really like them. And uh, so what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna make them a really cool cave, maybe even like a two station cave. Again, all designed toward Tiger Oscars. They really like caves, they like hiding spots. That's what the PVC pipe is for as well. That's pretty much it. Let's go get them in and let's build a cave. Three, two, one. Let there be light. All right, really cool guys. We got this awesome little, uh, it's like a workspace light that I picked up at Home Depot. Just really nice LED, gives out a ton of light, which is awesome. Um, and let me finish up the cave right there. We got the cave. Uh, this I picked up at Home Depot for like 15 bucks. If you do something like this in the future, use a uh, chain, don't use rope. We just didn't have any left from our other light. That'll work perfectly fine for right now. But we got those. And then the one other little DIY thing I wanted to show you before I start filling with water here. I didn't have the intake hose for this when I bought it from the lady. So I actually had some PVC pipe that fit in 
sort of okay. That is left over from our DIY solar pump filter for our duck pond, it's really cool. That video is coming out, make sure you check that out. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut it right about here, drill some holes in it to give it extra aeration, and that should work fine, come out there. I'm pretty excited, guys, what do you think? Let's get this bad boy filled with water, and we can start cycling it. All right, so we got this filling up. It looks great. Again, even with all of the rinsing we did, you can still see it's a little white, but not bad. I am very excited to announce we get to have a new... 10 Seconds of Fame! So, this episode's 10 Seconds of Fame goes out to Eden, who reached out to us through Facebook actually a while ago, and I apologize, Eden, that it took so long to get to. We didn't see the message. She actually originally found our channel a little while ago when she was looking to make a new setup for her baby slider. So these pictures right here are all about her baby slider set up originally, and it looks amazing. There's stuff in there that I didn't even think of doing. So really good job, Eden. And then she also reached back out and sent some new pictures because that was so long ago. She has now since evolved that, and she has a new setup for her tortoise, which Tay is super jealous because we have wanted a red foot tortoise for quite some time. So Eden, everything looks amazing. I want to do more of the 10 seconds of fame. I want to see what you guys are doing out there. Help inspire our, our viewers, help inspire us because we have so many more things coming. So really cool, glad we got to do this. It's a scary moment. We are going to plug in the filter and keep our fingers crossed. This is the thing that never wants to work right the first time. Let's see what happens. There you have it. It took, it took some mouth power, if you want to call it. These filters sometimes are a pain getting started. But it's up and running, and that is our DIY Tiger Oscar Stock Tank Pond. Awesome. We're not going to put them in right now. We're going to let this cycle through. I love these guys. I don't want to mess them up. So, But look at this. So much room for activities. I'm so excited. They got so much room that look at the DIY cave we built there. That's going to be awesome. Oh, we still got to put the big piece of PVC in. We'll get that in for next time. So there's another big piece of PVC we're going to put in. We'll give them something to swim through. But guys, I'm excited. Light looks good. We can definitely see the white rocks will really help us be able to see them down there. Make sure you subscribe down below to see us put them in there. That is going to be coming in one of the next videos. I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, we got Suede down here doing great. Everybody in here is doing great. Guys, so many things I'm going to do to this, so make sure you stay tuned. We have some really cool things. I'm going to get new fish once the Oscars are out of here. Um, I got to get all my autos back. I got to get some more Cory Cats. Look at this. I love this duckweed. I take the duckweed literally every single day, give it to the baby turtles. They're doing great. The, uh, look at the sunfish. <laughs> Tries to eat everything. Uh, and then I'll also put some in here. Oh, look at the, uh, the jades out, the goby. That's awesome. You guys never really get to see him. He's always hiding. But everyone in there is doing great. And the big, real quick, I know we're still working on the big pool pond to get outside. We still gotta find one, guys. I haven't found one yet. The one I found fell through, but a lot cleaner in here. Just a small tint to it. But we just did a huge water change, changed out the filter. Everybody's doing great. And here's the original stock tank. I just scared him. One of the catfish was coming out, but these catfish are doing great. They are growing huge. Absolutely love them. <laughs> Look who we got, guys. This was the first one to hatch. We still don't have names, but she looks very similar. Don't jump. Please don't jump. She looks very similar to Henny. It looks like she's getting a beard underneath, which is really funny. But we need names. I'm thinking salt and pepper, maybe, just because she's white and the other one's black. Um, let's do our good vibe shout out. This one goes out to the real big main said appreciate your help i started my pool pond and used your diy setup highly appreciate it big fan for sure real big thank you man i appreciate it i appreciate the love that's really cool send me some pictures at some point we still gotta get our pool pond back up i'm really excited the weather is finally starting to break here for the best um i don't know if you guys see that right there but tay at six months pregnant has been building that entire thing by herself uh we're gonna actually move the ducks outside of the chickens enclosure just so they can have their own room the ducks are really messy we're gonna give their own thing so hey guys it's starting to get nice out pretty excited hope you guys are too please stay tuned we got so many more cool things coming right right sweetie we hope you're a girl we still don't know we still pray that she's a girl careful as always peace Look at her.
wing, can, is the wing white on that side too? That's so cool. They gotta start getting, this thing looks like a vulture. <laughs> Guy. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.